Hey guys, I know some of you are looking at the title of this and are saying, what? But I know there are others that have come over and I'm really happy you guys are here. Really, really happy that you guys made it here. And I thank Brooke so much for letting me post this at the dang, the, boy, imagine I get that wrong, thegangreen.com, thegangreen.com. Uh, that is a website for years, for years. I spent much, much time uh, debating the Jets in the beginning, uh, dabbled in politics for a little bit, and so that was a really bad idea on a website. Got out of that real quick. And then I started, because I, I love the weather so much, I started uh, making threads about potential upcoming snowstorms. That's how it all started. And let's say I would say uh, January 17th, keep an eye. And then in, in that thread, I would talk about the January 7th, January 17th potential storm. And then let's say the next one was January 26th. And I would say potential and I would post in there. And then what that went on for about a year and a lot of people were like into it, you know, people wanted to talk about their local weather. So it got some decent interest. Um, and all of a sudden, one day I go in there and I get a message from Sunday Jack was his name. Who I, I don't I haven't seen there there in a long time. Uh, Sunday, he was a funny, one of the funniest posters I have ever met in my entire life. A sense of humor be, beyond. It was just so good. And he said he made a sticky no, he made the thread. Somebody else made it a sticky later on, I think. And it was called Jay's Weather and Other Stuff or something like that. I never even look at it. I just go right to the last page. It's amazing how, how long it's been since I looked at the name of it. And it was in the BS Forum part of gangreen.com. And he sent this message to me saying, just post all, your, all the stuff in there. People like it. And just post all your stuff in there. So I said, are you sure? He said, yeah. I said, okay. So I started posting in there and potential storms that were coming up. And then, you know, that it grew and it got bigger and bigger. And it was just, I think, because so many people were so interested in, in their local weather and they had a local idiot that was really interested in it too, that would give them sort of updates that, you know, there was nobody, you know, they couldn't knock on a neighbor's door and find out. So there I was, you know, I was sitting there on the site and I spent a lot of time there, a lot of time there. And, um, and then it got like, it get, kept getting bigger. And then eventually Sandy was coming and that was something that we all, all of us, there was other people that got involved in it too, started to follow. And, uh, you know, of course Sandy happened and, and we started tracking Sandy. I, 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 I want to say seven, 10 days before the storm even came, they all showed that hook coming into the East Coast, and so many of them were showing, like, between New York City and Maryland, and, uh, I mean, four or five, six days out, you know, the models. Anyway, I'm going to go into the whole model thing. And uh, then, it, then it just continued, you know, snowstorm after snowstorm, winter after winter, I mean, years. This went on for a long, long time. And then I had, a, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, I had a health issue, and ended up moving down to Wilmington, North Carolina, where I am now. And do not post there nearly as much as I used to. Um, occasionally, if I hear there's a snowstorm that's going to happen up there, I usually get like a head. Well, in the winter, I just check. I just have a habit of checking. And if I see something's going to happen up there, I'll go in there and put my two cents in. But they have other guys up there, you know, that are in the, in the thread now that really follow this stuff, that are really good at it, too. I mean, they're, they're great at it. And uh, I'll put my two cents in, but it's, you know, and, and to get back into it for, I don't know how these guys like, you know, that work for the Weather Channel that are like in that studio in Atlanta. Well, I don't know how you can follow the weather, let's say in Texas or Maine or wherever. I, you know, for me, you have to be there, you know, as you guys that from the site remember what I used to say all the time, the trend is your friend, you know. You have to feel the trend. You have to you see what's going on. You got to feel the temperature. You, you got to feel everything that's going on, you know. 
uh, of the of winter. You know, how many times has it you know started off at snow and then changed to rain and 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 it wasn't predicted to do. You just feel what's going on, and from doing it from a distance, it's impossible. You know, I'll read real quick um, the models and stuff like that to this day, and I'll read uh, the write up of um, weather.gov. You know, the guys that these they type this stuff that's insane, uh, uh, insanely written. You know, where I can barely understand some of it, but I get my way through it and I understand it. But I realize when it's all said and done, the storm starts or it's coming. And if you're not there, you really can't get a feel. You're finding out hours after some dramatic change of a couple degree temperature rise or fall or places that it was going to snow or sleet and, you know, on and on. So the bottom line is I couldn't, I, I, I can't do it anymore. Now, I have been thinking about doing that again. Um, but I, I, it's going to be tough. It'd be tough. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I do it down here. Um, you know, I've posted it in there about down here when hurricanes and stuff were coming. And, uh, um, you know, it's, it's good. It's fun. But, uh, I'm a snowstorm guy. I love snowstorms, you know, have since I was a little kid. Since a little kid. Anyway, that's how it all started. So when I got this started, and it's only been a couple of days, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, God, I should reach out to gangreen.com because there's, there's people there I know and tell them what's going on, that I'm doing this. And for a lot of those people, in fact, everybody there, except for CBJ I've met, um, I don't think I've really met anybody else. This is the first time you're ever hearing me or ever seeing me. 61-year-old, old man now. I started going to gangreen.com. I was probably in my 40s. 2010. No, I was probably around 50. I think I started around 2010. And um, anyway, I asked, I, I sent a, a message up to Brooke. I said, Brooke, all I was going to do was put a, um, a post in the weather thread saying, hey guys, how are you? Hey, listen, I just want to tell you. And I sent a note to Brooke. He goes, no, I sent, put it in the jet message thing and we'll put a little sticky there. And I, that was so cool. Really, really cool of him. And uh, he's just a really good guy. You know, they're good people. And I miss that site. I really, really do. I don't really get on like that. I don't really, you know, the message board thing has been, as the years have gone on, if I just, you know, the time flies by and you just don't have that time anymore. So instead, once a day, Usually, I'll sit down and just vent about the Jets. And I can vent 365 years, uh, 365 days in a year about the Jets. It's very easy for me to do. They are constantly on my mind. And um, anyway, I just wanted to really thank you guys for coming down here. And, um, you know, I don't know how many people are going to end up coming down here from that post, but... Um, Feel free to leave a comment. Say hello. I promise the comments I uh, will respond back. Somebody suggested to me to turn to to make the comments um, that I have to approve them first. So it may take me. A, it takes probably about five, eight, ten minutes. Who knows how long? I don't know. Uh, but I've responded to a couple pretty quick. I know I'll respond to all your comments. And most importantly, and I should have said this from the beginning. Please, if you can subscribe, subscribe, and if you could like like the video, and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Because I don't want to have to keep going up to that thread and reminding you guys, damn it. But anyway, great, 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 great. I'm happy you made it down here. Hello to all of you. I'd start naming names, but that would be so unfair because I know I'd leave so many people out. Um, I have like 15 names right now, I just want to say. I don't want to do that yet. Um, and uh, that's about it. But thanks for making the trip down. I really appreciate it. And keep coming. Keep coming. Got some surprises coming up. All right? Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.